picture na wakati kuna jua iwe ikipitika Right, let's get back to our top story, which is uh, day one of reporting to school for Form 1 students across uh, the country. The first batch of Form 1 students under the free public day secondary school education program. And they're reporting in various schools in the country. Our reporter, Timothy Otieno, has been doing various spot checks in schools here in Nairobi. He now joins us live from Buruburu High School here in Nairobi. Timothy, good afternoon. You have been doing this spot check since morning. What are some of the fundamental things you've noted being day one of uh, reopening for Form 1 students? Well, first and foremost, Akisa, the process has begun in various schools, at least those which we have visited. Some of uh, the schools we have visited began the exercise yesterday, like uh, Starehe Boys Center, who are enrolling Form 1s over the next three days. They began yesterday, another batch is continuing today, and then the final batch is continuing tomorrow. The case is slightly different here at the Buruburu Girls High School in Nairobi. The process will take two days. Today is the first day of admission for some of the students and the exercise is ongoing right now behind me. Uh, the students have since arrived here with their parents and the normal process of counter-checking and ensuring that they have the right education material uh, is going on. And the admission today here is for those who will be joining the boarding section of this particular school. The exercise goes on all the way until evening. Now the school administration tells us that they are going to be receiving 240 new students who are joining the boarding wing of Buruburu Girls High School, which is a national school, and the exercise is ongoing at the moment. Uh, we can see very many parents at this particular field, even as they kickstart the process. But remember, the, process, the, the Ministry of Education had also directed and selected 19 national schools to open day wings within their specific institution. Buruburu Girls High School is among those schools that were listed by the Ministry of Education who are doing that particular exercise in schools within Nairobi County as a pilot program to ensure that admission of day schools continues to ensure their 100% transition from primary to secondary school education. But right now I just want to talk to the school administration to get their thoughts on particularly how the exercise is ongoing and I'm now joining by the principal for Buruburu Girls High School. Thank you so much for speaking to KTN News. Talk to us about how the process is ongoing for you as an institution. Thank you very much. My name is Mrs. Consolata Kimuya. Thank you for joining us for this exercise. We are very busy indeed and we are happy. Our parents and uh, the Form 1 girls have come to join the boarding wing. And you, as you can see, there are very, very many and we appreciate after the orientation on Saturday, we have seen that they have reported in large numbers right from 9 a.m. today. And we can see the exercise is going on, and we are very happy indeed to receive the new children. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you did inform us that tomorrow you're going to be admitting the day scholars to join uh, the school for the very first time. Talk to us about how that process will be. What should parents who have their children enrolling tomorrow expect when they come? Well, thank you. We have considered the, the children who have attained the pass mark for this school for the neighborhood, uh, uh, those who are coming from Makadara County, and especially those uh, who can also commute from Bakasi and those neighboring districts. We have uh, asked them to apply. They have applied so far. We have uh, written 30 forms for day wing, and we are expecting them tomorrow. We could not have uh, admitted them today because uh, they are coming on a special kind of setup whereby the, 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 the issues that we shall be handling during the, the admission will be different from these others. But of course, when they go to the class, they will be mixing all the classes. But uh, we are going to admit slightly more so that we have one whole class for day wing. So we still have some vacancies, but uh, ab among the waiting list, most of the parents who are uh, applying for day wing are those who have missed boarding and hoping that they will uh, someday get boarding win. But slightly different because some of them are really needy. We went slightly lower 
uh, for the public schools in the neighborhood like Mukuru Kwajenga, Kiambio, whereby parents are actually needy. And you find that that child has got 340, 350, but I realize that these index numbers, if she is index number 1 to 10, that is a very potential girl who cannot be able to afford boarding. And alongside that, we have already admitted them, and we hope they are going to report so that they can enjoy the good fa facilities in Buruburu Girls, e-learning, we have projectors, we have smart boards. So that girl will, will have an opportunity to actually realize her dream, what she really wants to be in future. So we have opened the doors and we are happy that the Ministry of Education has opened this option for those who, are, who cannot make it with high marks. They can still come as a day wing. They cannot afford. Some of them have 380, 385, uh, but they cannot afford boarding. So we are admitting them and we hope that tomorrow when they come, they will realize that their dreams are going to be realized at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Perhaps what measures have you put in place as a school? Because some of the 19 schools that were selected to open day wing, not all of them were very accommodative to that fact. Some schools, I can mention, for example, Stare Boys, are not admitting day scholars at the moment. So how is it different for you as a school, considering that the influx of students, is these are numbers that you're not normally used to. So yes. what are those extra measures that you're putting in place to ensure that not only does the quantity go up, but the quality remains the same, if not even better? Well, uh, we have been trained, we have attended workshops, not one, by the Minister of Education officials. And when they took us through the workshop, we actually saw the point at which they are driving at. There is this needy child who cannot afford boarding. And there is also this one who can afford boarding, but lives in the neighborhood. There is no need of that child being a boarder because they can walk to school and maybe the facilities in the home are good and conducive. That child will really want to be in a, a day scholar in spite of the parents wanting them to be boarders. But this other child who is needy and the boarding uh, place has been taken by this other child. You know, this child now from Tukana will be able to come and be a boarder because this is an extra county school. So we kind of saw that difference. Uh, of course, as you say, there will be a challenge. There are those who are coming as day, there are those who are in boarding. But we have put measures uh, in place uh, through the that training by the Minister of Education. Uh, we will have to check at the gate when they are coming, when they are going. And of course, this school being a disciplined school with the, prefect, uh, with the prefects in place as managers, with the teachers, we are also going to strengthen the guidance and counseling department so that we train them what we expect of them when they are in school, when they are out of school. We will also meet with their parents, what we expect of them to be with their children in the evening, do the homework, and we, we have also decided with the teachers that that will be the first thing to be checked in the morning, that their homework has been done. If this is going to work, then it is going to be good for those day scholars. And who knows, the others might uh, in future opt to be day scholars as long as they are going to fulfill that which the teacher has pre put in place for them. All right, maybe finally before I let you go, the issue of uh, school fees. The government has said it has spent $29 billion to ensure that free secondary day education is rolled out. As a school, have you received these funds? Are parents just going to bring their students? Are there any extra charges that you're going to levy against them as parents, especially those joining day school? No, um, uh, as far as fees is concerned, the government has paid uh, about 22000 for them so that they can be able to access uh, facilities like uh, laboratory chemicals and uh, tuition materials, uh, you know, debricating and all that. Uh, the only thing that they have not paid for them is lunch program. But lunch, you cannot send a child away because she has not paid lunch program. So it means they, can, they will learn free and there is no way they will go home for fees like 
it has been before. So these children are going to run free, and I'm sure they are going to benefit because the government has paid the other facilities for them. They will only pay a little fee for a um, lunch program, of which it may not be compulsory. You might find a parent who will say, I will pack the lunch for my daughter. Oh, if a parent is coming from Kiambio and maybe doesn't have money, we also have well wishers, the parents who are in the school, they may also ship in for such children so that they can remain in school. So we are positive and we hope for the best. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Consolata, for your insights. We'll let you proceed with the uh, monitoring of the process as it continues. That is the uh, head teacher here, the principal of Buruburu Girls High School, just expounding on some of the measures they have put in place. This particular institution is going to be receiving 60 students extra from that which they, they had planned. Remember, this announcement by the Education Ministry just came a few weeks ago, and some schools were saying that they had not been given enough time to expand in terms of infrastructure to accommodate the influx of students who would be coming uh, into this new academic year, Akisa.